This is a video on my portable homemade drill press. This tool enables me to drill holes square to the face of large timber frames. As you can see in this picture, when the frame is too big and heavy to be moved around, all tools have to be brought to the actual frame. Obviously moving the big heavy pieces of oak is too much work and effort, so it's much easier to bring all the tools to the face of the timber frame. I've had many requests for this video. A lot of people have been interested in seeing the breakdown of this tool. Just laying out this mortise to be drilled for peg holes. Just position the drill. It's, it's designed so we can clamp it onto the actual face of the timbers. Here you can see I'm just bumping the, the stand into position. Just making sure the point of that spade bit is going to rest right on my mark. When drilling peg holes, I always go almost all the way through. So I pick up the back side of the tenon as well. I leave about a quarter of an inch before I go all the way through the timber. This is because when rain hits the face of the frame, the water always weeps along the length of the peg and gives a damp, wet mark on the interior of the frame. Finished mortise complete with peg holes. I actually found this drill on the scrap pile, complete with the lathe attachment. This is a quick breakdown of the drill press. Just to show you its individual parts, there's a Black & Decker old drill that sits into the lathe attachment. It's held in with two tabs at the front, a bolt that sits into the back of the drill. It's a locking nut to just hold it in position. fixed to the dovetail track that I've made out of ply, enabling the drill to slide up and down 